to steal and to kill and to destroy I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly the, the thief does not come except to, to, to steal to kill and to destroy but I am come 
that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Tonight we are going to focus on what we know that is prayer meeting. We are going to pray and our prayer will be major on two major issues. The first one is on two major issues. The first one is because we, we know, we, I believe that if God reveals something, He wants us to pray about it. So uh, we'll be praying about the, the spiritual arm robbers tonight. Spiritual arm robbers. So that's uh, a little bit about what the Lord has revealed to me last night. And I believe we need to pray about it urgently. Spiritual harm robbers. And this one, they are not just harm robbers, hardened harm robbers. Ruthless ones. And they are out to steal, to kill, and to destroy. They are out to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And that is why we are going to speak a little bit of this word before we go into the prayer. And the second one that looked like it is what we said a little bit on, on the Wednesday Bible study from the book of Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 3. So before we go there, we will read a little bit about, we will speak a little bit about, I won't take time because we are going to spend more time in, in prayer. Spiritual arm robbers. So the number one thief that we know according to what the Bible told us is the devil. Is the purpose of his manifestation is to steal, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. To steal the joy of man. To steal their blessing. To steal the right. To deceive people. Things that originally belong to you, he will take it and make it look like he is the one that wants to give it to you. That if you bow down to him, he will be able to, to give you whatever you desire. And the purpose is to kill and to destroy in a fire. So it takes what belongs to you, what, is, what your right is, and it will use it as a, as a bait on the on uh, I mean the bait you know what we know what the bait is anything like it might be warm or anything to catch fish so or you put something like bread or cheese on the trap for a rat so it will use people's blessing just like he told Jesus it is not time it is not this time alone that devil has been doing that he doing he did it to Jesus he told Jesus he said look at all these things in this world, I can give you everything if you can bow down and worship me. So the same business, devil is still in the same business in, in this end time. Making it look like if you do not bow to him, you cannot have what you want. Making it look like in everywhere you want to pass in this world, you must just bow. Otherwise you can't have it. And what we call bow is like you must just create some unrighteousness to have whatever you want. That if you do not if you do not create or mingle with unrighteousness, it cannot happen. So before we come to this, I want us to turn to the, put your finger in that and turn to First Timothy chapter six, and I will read from verse one to six. 1 Timothy chapter 6, 1 to 6. And I will read from one, I'm um, um, in 1 Timothy chapter 6, I will read from verse 1 to 6. Let as many born servants are under, under the yoke, count their own masters worthy of all honor. So that the name of the Lord and his doctrine may not be blasphemed. And those who have believing masters, let, 
Let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather serve them, because those who are befitted, though, because those who are benefited are believers and beloved. Teach and exalt these things. Verse 3. If anyone teaches otherwise and does not consent to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which accord, which, which accords with godliness, he is proud. Knowing nothing but in observed with de disputes and arguments over words, from which come envy, strife, revealing evil suspicion, useless wranglings of men of, of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth. Who suppose that godliness is a means of gain? From such withdraw yourselves. Verse 6. Now godliness with contentment is a great gain. For we brought nothing into this world. And it is certain that we can carry nothing out. I'll read to, I'll continue reading. And having food and clothing which with this we shall be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptations and a snare and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drawn men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrow. Amen. Amen. So tonight, like I said, we are going to be looking at the spiritual arm robbers. Spiritual arm robbers. And apart from the prayer, the reason why the word of God is still very, very much important as our prayer that we pray tonight is just to keep us on guard and on watch. Because if you pray and we sweat tonight and we go home, we will not be complete if we don't have the same measure of the word of God to keep us alert against spiritual arm robbers. You know, the devil and all the thief, as we, as we phrase it in this, as we call him in this area, does not manifest like we used to know anymore. You know, some people think in this generation, the evil spirit or the witches or the wizard, they still manifest the way they used to. Or maybe the sign, one of the signs you have to know somebody that has witchcraft is just to have some broom, uh, carrying broom around the street, or have some black clothes around. No, they have many other fascinating things that we attract you more than that. You will never even believe when you see one. So devil has changed the mode of operation. So gone are, the day, gone are the days where you will be looking and waiting to say, I will see how the enemy will want to steal my blessing. He cannot steal, he cannot kill, he cannot destroy me. But I'm here to tell us, apart from the prayer we're going to pray tonight, to open your minds to see that it takes more than what you know for the devil to actually steal and kill and destroy. As he looks forward to stealing, killing and destroying unbelievers, the same way he looks forward to even reaching unto the camp of those who are saved. And that is why the Bible says in the end times, we have to be very watchful. Even the very elect will still be deceived by the end time messages. So, and one of the areas that the devil still have access to steal from the believers, because I would assume that everybody listening to me now have received the message of the gospel of Christ. Because if people, if Unbelievers will hear me or know I was here tonight. Their own case is a little bit serious. But another more serious case is for believers that are ignorant of the devices of the devil. Like I said before, I've said this in the in the time past, that the devil needs your cooperation 
to do anything about your life. Without your cooperation, I'm telling you the truth today. No power of darkness can do anything to you. What's the need to make your life what it is, is in you. What's the need to make things not to work out, is in you. So that is why I want to speak a little bit about these spiritual arm robbers before we, we pray. You cannot, they cannot have access unless they have your permission. That is when you are believers. No access is granted to the devil unless you give permission to the robbers. And for him to get the permission, he has some baits. He has some baits. Like I said, the, for the sake of people that are just joining us, the bait I said is something, a worm or anything that can attract fish, that you used to kill fish. Or it can be a cheese that you put on the trap to catch the rat. So the devil will create some certain things to make sure that it entices you. It interests, in, it interests you. And it's something that you cannot avoid. You, de you desire it desperately. You want it sincerely. And that thing is to rob you of your genuine God's purple, I mean God's own right. The, the, the genuine right, the reason and the purpose of your creation cannot be stolen from you unless you are deceived by the baits of the devil. The arm robber, spiritual arm robbers are sent out to rob people of their joy, to rob people of their rights, to rob people of their freedom, of their liberty, even of their, their the, 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 the good things they have in life. And these robbers cannot gain access unless you give them your cooperation. And part of the cooperation we can give them is what we are read in the book of 1 Timothy. Some of them are the things that we, 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 we so much desire, things that mean a lot to us, either to our career, to our business, to our education, and to whatever we are doing. Anything that is so daring to you, that you want so desperately, they, are, they can be the bait for the spiritual arm robber to actually steal the God's given purpose, God's given right. God is our creator. He created us for a purpose. And believe me, God has not created anybody to suffer or to find it difficult to eat. God created everyone and he also created our place of blessing our position position of blessing and the timing also is included but this thing cannot come to pass unless we find ourselves in his purpose but if we are not in his purpose in his plan when I mean his purpose I mean in obedience to his word the commandment and also in trusting him. He created the whole world and he created us and he knows everything about this world. The creator of a computer, HP for instance, uh, any, what's the name of any computer that we can, we can remember? Compact, Dell. Dell. The creator, when you have any problem with them, you don't want to go to the repairers, if you go to their network, I mean, their website, and you, you will see every trouble that happened to your computer, how to troubleshoot and how to find the, what the problem is and sort it by yourself without resorting to going to pay for somebody to do it for you. So they have everything on their website because they are the creator. They know, I mean, they know how long it will take the computer to work, how many years. Or if any problem, if anything gets wrong within those periods, what you can do? So they will put it on their website as a manual for using that computer. So are we. He created us. He formed us. He created the world. Everything that ever exists and existed. And therefore, he knows what danger we face during the course of our living. And for that reason, he has created us a way of escape. 
His plan towards us is not of evil. His plan for us is not, is not of sorrow. His plan for us is not of bitterness. We are not designed to suffer. We are not designed to live in poverty. We are not designed to beg for bread. We are not designed to be miserable. But when we do not follow his purpose and plan for our life, the robbers of destiny come in and steal everything that he has prepared or scheduled for us. And like I said, they need our cooperation to make that happen. And what is the cooperation that human beings always give the, the robbers of destiny? Is that we work, we do not like God's timing. That is one. One of the instruments, one of the things, of the things that the, the robbers of destiny use against human beings is human, they know that human beings don't like God's timing. We want it and we want it now. That is one. And the second one is that we do not want His will. We just want our will. Jesus, when He saw the process of His crucifixion, it was so tough when he was praying. He, 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 he wished so, so much that the Lord would let it, make the cup pass over him. Or what I mean by that is that so that that will not happen. But he said, after all, let your will be done. Not my will, but your will be done. Everything that has to be God's will will always promote you establish you and increase you our will cannot take us anymore. it's just like you are talking to a teenage girl don't go out i was a teenager like you look at this you have to do you know if the mother has been there has been a teenager and when you see your young daughter go in the direction that you went that caused you trouble and you begin to fight no i don't want you to go this way don't go that way i knew i know this road i have been there before you and just said leave me alone I have my right, I'm 18 years old. And eventually, the lady, the young lady falls into what if she refuses to follow your pattern and your plan. She falls into what you have been trying to let her avoid. And after a few years, when she becomes mother at early stage of life, when she's not ready to be, she will not begin to cry and say, my mother told me this. She warned me. I don't know why I did not listen. That's the same way God is. God has every good plan for us. Just like every parent, every good parent, if we have power to make our children rich, I'm telling you many parents will do that. Because we have plans to make sure that our children have good education. To make sure that they become, they excel in whatever things they choose to do. In academics, in anything they didn't want to be in life. You want them to, you want to be able to say, I am the mother of that man speaking on TV or that lady that is in that place. That is the same way God is proud of us. He wants to be proud of whatever we become in life. He wants to be able to say, that is my daughter, that is my son. But we do not want to walk according to his timing. We don't want to walk according to his will. And therefore, we become vulnerable to the robbers of destiny. Just because we are afraid to face, to face destiny. We are afraid to face the future. And we have the future according to our own thinking, imagination. For instance, somebody chooses to be a doctor. Maybe you, you are just a young believer and you want to go to university. And you happen to be saved very early stage of your life before you go, go to university. And you say, I want to be a, a medical doctor. And you have seen, the Lord has revealed to you in your dream that you have to be a pharmacist. And you say, no, 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 I just love this medical, I love to be a medical doctor. Since I was young, I have to be. I don't want to be. And moreover, even pharmacists, they want money. Then you begin to judge according to your imagination, according to your sight, how far you can see. This, there's no money here. They are not successful here. This is the way I can do. If I be a doctor, I can go to Saudi Arabia, I can go to uh, Australia, I can go to Canada and make a hundred thousand per, per six months or whatever you want to say it is. And you begin to design. And for that reason, for
for your own reasons and you're for your own calculation, imagination, you go against what God has planned for you. Believe me, by the time you finish your course being a medical doctor, you will face the music on your, on your own. By the time you finish as a medical doctor, the robbers of destiny have stolen your right to be a pharmacist that will be remembered for life in the country of your origin. Robbers of destiny. They steal destiny because of your own, and you cooperate with them to steal it. They cannot steal it unless you cooperate. Like I said, God wants us to pray about it because of the revelation I saw yesterday night. Robbers of destiny. Because God does not work according to our timing. He does not work according to our programs. He has a plan that is good for us. To bring us to our rich fulfillment. To bring us to where our names will be written on the four corners of the world. But at the end of the day, many people that are supposed to be star and heroes of their destiny, I mean of their generation, they, they did not become heroes before they died. Because they chose to follow after their own path. Some of them did not come to know the Lord that will show them the way. Why some of them know the Lord but they refuse to follow his plan and purpose. We go back to to that our John chapter 10. So a third way, I, I've told you about two. The first one, I said God's timing. We refuse to follow God's timing. The second one, we refuse to follow God's will. And the third one, we, are, we pursue... Amen. Amen. The third one, we pursue the bait. We pursue the bait. We pursue the thing that the enemy set put on the trap. We pursue it so much that we forget everything around us until we enter into the trap. Today I was speaking to someone that spoke to me about some certain issue. A, a lady from outside, outside the country. And she was complaining bitterly about that marriage that she found herself. And she was a believer before she got married. And I, and I asked her, did you pray very well before you go in? She said, to be honest, Pastor, I knew that this, is, this marriage was not the plan of God. So she, did, she wanted to save me many, many stories. She said, I knew this is not the plan of God. I just, it's just, I read to her this First Timothy chapter 6, the same way I read it to you. And she said exactly what my problem was. The bait, everything I saw with this man was like a bait that the devil, devil used to catch me. Because, you know, she was able to see future security, financial security, her home prospects, opportunities and all that. And she traded that for the will of God and the purpose of God. And timing too. And now it becomes miserable. The situation becomes very tough. I was telling her, I said, this end time, whatever we can do to pass messages to young people that have not ventured into that yet. The devil has made marriages as trap to get as many people to help fire. Either man or woman. But if we have found ourselves in one already, all we need to do is to carry our cross and back to very well. Just like I told the woman. If you find yourself in one already, you need to just stand for the truth, carry your cross, make sure you fight and make heaven. There's nothing you can do again. There's no going back. No divorce, no separation according to the plan of God. But you must just fight your battle to make heaven. Amen. Amen. Robbers of destiny, they have robbed many people, many single people of their genuine husband they're supposed to marry. Because of timing, they can't wait for the timing of God. They cannot comply with the purpose of God. They can't obey Him. They don't want to wait for His own will. 
I remember those days when I was still pursuing all embassy looking for visa to travel abroad. If our pastor said, let's pray that the will of God will be done, I wouldn't say that prayer. Because I knew what the will of God was. The will of God was never for me to travel abroad at that stage. If I was going to travel, it was to go and minister, maybe in, for ministration. I knew I was running away from the will of God. I didn't want to be a pastor. Or any, I, I hated it with, with, with every passion. So whenever they say, let the will of God, pray for the will of God in your life, I won't pray. Because I knew all the, what, was the, what, what the will of God was. I was only trying to avoid it. I was pursuing what I wanted to be, what I wanted to become. With all passion, with des I was desperate. To be very rich before I, 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 I wanted to be very, very stinkingly rich with all properties everywhere and cars before I got married. That was my passion. I didn't want to wait on the Lord. I did not want to watch God's timing or His will. I just wanted to be a businessman, successful, and that's what I wanted, I wanted for myself. And so I pursue that pattern. And it was like a snare. The, the more I go, the more deep I was going into sin. Just like the book of Timothy said. So anyone that wants to become something desperately, it will, that thing will begin to ensnare you. And the more you see yourself going, the more deep you go into sin, and the farther you begin to walk away from God. Before you know it, you are, you are no longer with Him. So therefore, if you want to prevent the spiritual arm robber tonight, or if they have stolen anything from you already that you know as I'm speaking now, with the Lord on the throne, you will recover everything they have stolen from you tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If they have stolen joy from you, the Lord will take your joy back for you tonight. Amen. If they have stolen blessing from you, the Lord will take your, joy, your blessing back. Amen. If they have stolen any opportunity, anything whatsoever that has a name, the Lord is going to take it from you tonight. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Their purpose, the reason why they steal or they want to steal or they have stolen is because they want to kill. Amen. Amen. Their purpose is to kill. Because the more you go, the deeper you go and the, 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 the more dangerous it, it becomes to live. Because as they see anyone out of the plan and purpose of God, they want to kill quickly. So that after destroying the body, they will destroy the soul in hell. At the end of the day, the person would have traded the life, the God's own pattern of life for hellfire. And the Bible says, what shall a man gain in exchange for his soul? After you have gained everything in this world, and you now lose your soul to hellfire. God forbid. God forbid. No matter how long we stay here on earth, we will stay longer in heaven than that. In heaven there is no return. You don't return back to the heart. All those, uh, my mother who died and I had another baby that looked like him, so my baby came back. It's just superstition. The Bible says it is appointed for a man to die how many times? Once. Once. And then there shall be judgment. So when someone dies once, it's gone. And there is judgment. So you only have one life. And the Lord has given you opportunities. The Lord has given you opportunities. If you are willing and obedient, you will reap the fruit of the land. Devil needs you to rob you. It, just like the robber needs the owner of the house to open the door. As soon as the door is open, they will have whatever they are looking for. Devil needs us to rob us. Every commandment that the Lord has given is for our own good. Just for us to be able to seize our right and to bring our purpose. I love using Joseph as an example. 
if Joseph has committed any of those sins and was in a hurry to take the wife of his boss and, and probably kill the boss, because that's anyone that marries somebody's wife, he can do that. If Joseph slept with the woman and they connived together to kill the Potiphar and they took over everything that he had, he would never become what God had planned for him. And he will also die in the process. If Daniel got to Babylon and he started eating everything, cha 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 cha, and he went to everywhere he wanted to go in there, you know, he did not discipline himself and stand and, and stood for God, and he was going to everywhere, eating everything and doing everything, Daniel would never become what he became. If Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not wait for God's timing, obey and kept the commandment of the Lord and gave their life completely to him. When we say we give our life to Christ, our life, praise the Lord. So when we say we give our life to Christ, what we simply said is that, you know, it's very simple English. I give my life to you, Jesus. How can you give your life to somebody and you manage the game by yourself? It's very strange to me. It's a lie to me. God, I gave you my heart. Lord, I gave you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. It's okay, so that I will not make you go commit sin for that. Amen. I give you my life. I give you my soul. Amen. And we run it ourselves. He only allows spiritual arm robber to rob off anything we want. Everything you want in your life has been programmed by God. Everything you want to become has been programmed by God. But only if you are willing and obedient. Can we turn to Isaiah chapter 1? I won't take our time. It's, to nine, it's 7 to 9 and exactly 9 will be rounding up. Isaiah chapter 1 from verse 16 to 20. Wash, your, wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, put away the evil of your doing hmm. from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. 17. Learn to do good, seek justice, rebuke the oppressor, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. 18. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Hmm. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Hmm. Though they are red like crimson, hmm. they shall be as wool. 19. If you are willing and obedient, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. 20. But if you if you refuse and rebel, and rebel. you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Amen. So the first thing he said in verse 17 is repentance. He says, cease to do evil. You see, cease. Which means, when you are repenting, it stops. Cease to tell lies. Cease to steal. Cease to fornicate. Cease to commit adultery. That is, he said, that is repentance. Rebuke the oppressor. He says, seek justice. Rebuke the oppressor. Defend the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Then, 18 says, come now and let us reason together. Says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, which means if there is no if there is no repentance, there is no forgiveness. You see that? Which means you have to stop sin before your sin, your sins can be forgiven. If you continue sinning, they will leave. I told us this before. When you are when you go to somebody borrowing money, today five euro, after one hour you get another ten, euro, he will call you say, How much do you really want? Because you keep coming, you keep coming. Can you tell me how much you really want so that I give it to you once? That's the way it is with God. If you see today, I see the next hour, God forgive me. Look, say, how much time do you need? You come back to me when you are tired of sin. So then we can negotiate and forgive you once and for all. That's the way God is. If you are not ready to repent, forgiveness is not rich completely. And, and, and we, we don't really understand this principle of God very well. 
Because some people or preacher make it easy for us. They tell us when you say that your sins are forgiven now, tomorrow, forever, and before, and you go to heaven. You must understand the principle of God. There are some places that make us happy. You go to some church, they make you happy. You proclaim some good, good word, positive, 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 but it doesn't really happen on, on, on in the real life. You're just happy and you claim it and you, you match on it and you sit on it in the church and everybody smile, everybody run. When you get to your house, you, 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 is, you are left with your trouble. But you can still be deceiving yourself. Say, no, I will not give in to any trouble. My pastor say, my pastor say, you'll be claiming and, and, and that does not give room for holiness. You still live your life the way you live it. So it will not manifest. The Bible works for people that are living according to the plan and purpose. God is willing to give anything. Someone, the Bible says, he that gave freely his son. In the book of Romans, he gave his son freely. What more can he not give us? The whole son to die for you, he gave it. So any other thing you need is just, is just minor. But you determine whether you will be robbed of your right or you will have your right. Because you cooperate with the enemy to either cease or stop. But the good thing that the Lord has revealed is in that revelation that he, he sent his forces. In that revelation I saw, he sent his forces to gather, to gather together every of your robbers of destiny. He disarmed them. He put them together. And it's like he said, enough is enough. So you should be happy if you are under my voice today. Amen. Every of your spiritual hand robber has been rounded off by God. Amen. And he has disarmed them. Amen. Having said that, I still need to, to, to give you this caution. Now he now say, if you are willing, after you are repented, you are settled with God, you reason to, he called you to reason together with him, to give you his kind of life, and to make you obey his own timing. The timing of the Lord will give you peace, now, later, or future. The will of the Lord will give you everlasting joy. Your own will will land you nothing but sorrow. God's timing brings permanent joy, but your timing brings trouble and sorrow. And that is why you must understand this. Devil does not want you to listen to timing. He does not want you to have his will. And he does not want, he uses things to entice you. He uses many things, money, equipment, things, unbeliever sources. You know when some unbelievers are making it around you, you begin to compare and contrast. Say, look at it, God. Look at that one, God. Look at this one, God. And you'll begin to run more than the timing of God. All he just wants you to know is how much can you trust me? And the more, like I told us last time, the faster you begin to trust God, the quicker your miracle comes. One of the things that I like in the messages of my, my former pastor, he will say, he will say, uh, it's only a foolish, a foolish person that, do, that does one thing over and over and he wants different, he wants, he, wants, he wants changes. You know, you did something last year, it's not working. And you do it again, you want changes, you want different things to happen. It cannot happen. So the faster you begin to grow your faith, grow your trust, live holy, uh, you know, begin to walk with him, understand him, and his timing, the quicker your miracle will come. Nothing happens to any believer for nothing. It happens for a reason. And whenever you, call, you are in that, in that trouble, sit down in the dark place for yourself and begin to think, why am I going through this? What does God want me to know? What is he trying to guide me against? Because the robbers are destined, of destiny, they are always around to steal, to kill, and to destroy. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. Now it says, 19 says, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the, the food of the land. But if you, are, if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. You see that? If you are willing, you have desire, to be anything 
the Lord will make it happen. He is the one that will make it happen, not you. We don't have power to make anything happen. But what the Lord wants us to do is just to have the desire. Desire is enough for you. I have desire, I walk towards it. Amen. In the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 16. Can we check Proverbs 16 quickly? 16 verse 9, if I'm correct. Proverbs 16 9. Better, better is a little with righteousness than vast revenue without justice. Better is a little with what? Righteousness. With righteousness than vast revenues without justice. Than plenty riches without justice. Uh, yeah, different version. 16. Nine, verse 9, yeah. Okay, verse 9. It says, In my heart, plan uh -huh, that's, but the Lord directs his that, that, That's what I, I was looking for. Oh, sorry. A man's heart plans its way, but the Lord directs his path. So, as I was saying, you, 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 you have, all you need is to have passion, to have the drive to be what you want to be. It says, A man's, a man's heart does what? <laughs> plans its way, but the Lord does what? Direct his path. Let the Lord direct your path. It is good to have desire. But let desire be done through God. Leave it completely in his hand. Let him know that you trust him. It is that trust and passion that brings forth results and answer. Doubts can never bring results. The passion, the desire to make it happen. If you read through the, 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 the life history of the Lord Jesus when he was during his earthly ministry, majority of the miracles that he performed, they were done towards people that had faith. Some people will come to you and say, Lord, I have so so so. Some people even carry their own sick people or the, 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 the diseased people and run to him. So majority of them were done towards the people that have faith. In, 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 his, in his being to say this man is able to heal, to heal me and they exhibited faith in different areas of life Amen. Amen so we are going to pray tonight as the Holy Spirit leads us concerning the spiritual armed robbers we are going to pray for defense. We are going to pray for protection. We are going to pray the prayer of recovery for anything that is stolen during our time of ignorance. There are many things that are stolen when you are desperate about life to make one thing done, to make, to make one thing done or the other. A lot of things were stolen. But tonight we are going to recover them by the grace and mercy of God. Amen. I decree to someone, if you have sold yourself, at any time in life or anybody have sold you or destiny without your notice the Lord Jesus will redeem you tonight with his blood in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. rise up on your feet Jesus send down your power Holy Spirit send down your fire
with you i am not lying about it when it dropped in my mind to pray it and i know the lord wants us to pray it but i want to say god this is not in our midst but you pray anyway there could be anybody we have some issues that we don't even want to discuss with pastor or anybody so for that reason you pray like this i break and i disconnect myself today been sold to. From any spirit of power so, so, so. Those that are claiming to be my spirit wife or husband. Those that are claiming to be my spirit wife or husband. And depriving me of my physical, of the physical manifestation of my blessing. And depriving me of my physical manifestation. Be broken away from me today. By the blood of Jesus. Be broken away from me today. Every power claiming to be spirit or husband that are hindering my the physical manifestation of my blessing. I break myself away from you today. 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 In the name of Jesus, every power, spirit, or forces claiming to be spiritual wife or husband in my life or in anybody's life. 
father tonight that are depriving me of my physical manifestation of my blessing. I break you away from me today. 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 In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Everything planted inside me to destroy me. To destroy me. Hear the word of the living God. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17 declares. If anyone defies the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy. Which I am. I am the temple of God. Therefore, I declare. Destroy me. You are violating the law of the Lord. You want to defy the temple of God. I command you to be destroyed tonight. By the power in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My destiny. I come against you in the name of the Lord God Almighty. I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. Because the book of Micah chapter 4, verse 5 declares. Many people walk by their own God. Many people walk by their own God. But I walk in the name of the Lord God Almighty. I walk in the name of the Lord. Therefore, I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. Destiny. Higher to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In my life, let the host of heaven rise against you tonight and begin to destroy you. In the name of Jesus, begin to destroy you, begin to destroy you, begin to destroy you, begin to destroy you, begin to destroy you. Say, Ema, Kontemo, Moro, Boli, Mahali, Ketalama. Zahama, Kontemo, Moro, Boli, Mahali. Be arrested and destroyed. Be arrested and destroyed. Tonight, before you pray the next prayer, you pray this one. Oh Lord of hosts, oh, oh, oh King of kings, oh, king Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let my battles of life end tonight. I am tired and weak of fighting battles. Father, give me peace all around me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Let my back to finish, Lord. Let my back to finish, Lord. Let my back to finish, Lord. And rise, Lord Jesus, and destroy every enemy all about me. And rise, O oh Lord. Destroy every enemy round about me. And rise, O oh Lord. Destroy every enemy round about me. And rise, O oh Lord. Destroy every enemy round about me. Amen. 
is that his plan for you is of good, not of evil. To bring everything you expect for your life to pass. Therefore, some power said, no, this cannot come to pass. He must bow or she must bow to me on, before she gets this. Just like they were troubling Jesus to bow for them. If you don't commit sin, you will not have this. If you don't do this sin, you will not have this. Just like some men, they give some women condition when you go for, to them for help. So if you want this, you have, to, you have to be on my bed. I see that as a very wicked heart. And our generation is used to that. Even when you don't ask a woman for anything, you just be nice all the time, they think you are up to something. Because that's the situation, that's the society we live in. Men don't give anything for nothing. It's wickedness of high order. So every power saying that I have to violate the law of, the law of God before I can get my right. Those are the ones you will confront now. My father. Oh, Lord, my father, every power that wants me to violate your laws and your rules, every power that wants me to before I obtain every of my rights, you are the creator of heaven and heart. Everything and all things is in your hands, oh Lord. Therefore, arise, let every of your enemies be scattered. With your honor, I rise with your power, I rise in hunger. Every power that wants me to bow to them before I obtain my blessing, before I reach my fulfillment, before I can reach my blessing, I rise, Lord Jesus. Come against them tonight, destroy their camp tonight, frustrate their weapon tonight, destroy them with your hunger and power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Angels of the living God. Angels of the living God. Arise tonight in the name of Jesus. And locate every kind of the spiritual robbers. And take everything that they are stolen away from me. Bring them to me tonight. Everything that is stolen from me by the spiritual robbers. Father, bring them to me. For me tonight. Take them back, hold on. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. There are many robbers that are stolen opportunity because they first of all say you must lie. You think if you tell lie, they will give you. Are you not told lie? You lost it. And they will not come later. The, the devil that told you to lie is the same devil that wants to go and tell them to say, he's a liar, don't give him. And you now they now say, no, because you just lie, we can't, we can't, we are sorry, we can't give a liar. You see? The same devil that tells you to lie is the same devil that will now go and bring the secret out later to, to, to fight against your right, where you have to obtain some favor. That is what is called, he has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He's on a deadly mission. Devil is in a very, very deadly mission. And therefore you will pray like this. Psalm 97 verse 3 says, The fire goes before the Lord and consume all his enemy. You will pray, Oh Lord my Father, let your fire go before you tonight. The enemy, those that are dividing evil against my destiny, those that are planning to rob me of my rights, those that are planning to steal, to kill, to destroy.
destroy. Oh Lord, my Father, locate the cup and destroy them tonight. By your fiery anger, in the name of Jesus, locate and destroy them tonight. In the name of Jesus, locate and destroy them tonight. In the name of Jesus, locate and destroy them tonight. In the name of Jesus, locate and destroy them tonight. Look it, look it, look it. Destroy all their forces by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, welcome. Arise, O Lord, and destroy them. Destroy their camp, Lord. Father, fight for us, O Lord. Father, you said you will fight for us and we shall hold our peace. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. tonight. Because as we were singing, our things were going on in my mind, and we are going to pray just exactly the way it's going on. And some forces will say, no, I will not let go. No, I will not return what I've stolen. Because she has sold herself. She has some allegations, or he has some things that are recorded against him. And for that reason, they cannot be returned. They cannot be settled. And therefore, you will quote this Bible passage and you will pray this next prayer. You will say, Every power that is fighting against the commandment of God regarding the return of my blessing. Every power fighting against the commandment of God regarding my blessing. The return of my blessing. Let me make it easy for us. Power that are refusing to return my blessing. Power that are refusing to return. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Power that are refusing to return my blessings. Power that are refusing to return my blessings. As a result of anything recorded against me. As a result of anything recorded. Hear the word of the living God. The Bible says and I declare. The Bible says and I declare. Colossians chapter two verse fourteen. Verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 16. Up to 16. It says, Having wiped out every and evil handwriting. Amen. Amen. Do you want to carry your Bible or you want to read it after me? Okay, we'll read after you. Yeah, carry the Bible and read it from there. Amen. Amen. Because if I make it too long, people are missing it. So carry your Bible and read it from there. Colossians chapter 2, 14 to 16. I want to read the last part of 3 to join with it. Uh, last part of 13. Colossians 2, 13, the last part, whether it's B or C. It says, Having forgiven my trespasses. Do you see that there? The people on the phone, did you see it? Having forgiven my trespasses. Now, I want everybody to quote it, then we now take the prayer point. You said the Bible says and I declare. The Bible says and I declare. Having forgiven my trespasses. Having forgiven my trespasses. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements. You have your Bible now, no? Okay, so people are not there. Colossians chapter 2, verse 14. But we'll read the last part of 13. Okay. 
Having forgiven my trespasses. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements. That was that was against me. That was against me. Which were contrary to me. Which were contrary to me. And he has taken them out of the way. And he has taken them out of the way. Out of my way. Out of my way. Having led them to the cross. Having led them to the cross. Having disarmed principalities and powers. Having disarmed principalities and powers. He made the public spectacle of them. He made the public spectacle of them. Triumphing over them in it. Therefore, in the name of Jesus. My Lord Jesus has disarmed you. My Lord Jesus has disarmed you. Every robber of destiny. Therefore, I subject you to this Bible passage tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. My transgression has been forgiven. I have been vindicated. Every evil writing and writing has been wiped away. The Lord has lifted out of my ways. He nailed them to the cross. He, he disarmed you and principalities and powers. Therefore, return every of my blessing today. Every blessing you have stolen from me. From the time I was born to now. Every opportunity that you stole from me. Every joy that you have robbed me of. Every blessing that you have stolen from me. Return them today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Return them tonight. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. Because of your glory. Because of your glory. Because of your power. Because of your. Because of your might. Because of your. Because of your blood. Because of your. Because of your kingdom. Because of your. Because of your authority. Because of your authority. Father Lord. Father Lord. Let Every of my overdue blessing Let every of my overdue begin to manifest tonight. To manifest. As from tonight. To manifest. As from tonight. As from tonight. Every of my overdue blessing. Every of my overdue blessing. My overdue increase. My overdue joy. My overdue blessing. Begin to manifest. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, manifest, 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 in Jesus name we pray every power that useless prayer every power that useless prayers higher against my destiny your time is up now 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 die by fire in the name of Jesus every power that more prayer every power that more prayer Every power that useless prayer. Every power that make prayer useless. And mock prayer. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. In the life of my wife and children. In the life of every of my members. In the life of the way of Christ by the ministry. In our means, your time is up. Your time is rounded up by fire. Begin to receive the judgment of death. By fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. 
Chapter 54 and verse 10. The mountain shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from you, nor shall my covenant of peace be removed. Therefore, O Lord God, you are the Lord that keep your covenant from generation to generation. I need your mercy and kindness tonight. I need your mercy and kindness. Restore back to my home. Restore peace back to my life. Restore peace back to my home. Restore peace. Begin to ask God to restore peace back. In your finances, restore peace back. In your home, restore peace back. In your heart, restore peace back. In your children's life, restore peace back. In your family, restore peace back. Begin to ask God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Restore peace back to my home, Lord. Restore peace back to my ministry, Lord. Restore peace back to my calling, Lord. Restore peace back to my life, my health, my body, my spirit, my soul. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, may we pray. Finally, tonight, you will pray. Every disaster program against me and my home. Every disaster, every disaster program against me and my home in this year. Every disaster program. Locate and destroy your senders. In the name of Jesus. Locate and destroy your senders. Pray, 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 pray. Pray with all your strength. Locate, destroy your senders. Disaster program against my wife. Against my life. Against my church. Against this ministry. Against the way of Christ by the ministry. Locate and destroy your senders. And destroy a sender. No king and destroy a sender. Battle of power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name will pray. Destroy a sender in Jesus' name. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. Father, we thank you for the time we have spent before you tonight, Lord. We give you all glory, we give you all praise, we give you all adoration, we worship your majesty. We thank you for you are the Lord of Lords and you are the King of Kings, the Lion of Judah. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, we worship you. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, there is no wisdom, knowledge, or power before you and after you, Lord Jesus. You are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords, you are the mighty God, the wiser than the wisest, the greater than the greatest, the most powerful God. Father, we worship you tonight. We thank you because you are always and constantly faithful. We thank you, Jesus. And you are always with us. You will never leave us, Father. We give you glory. In as much as we do your will, in as much as we walk before you, you will not depart from us. You will not neglect us. You will not go away from us. We worship you, Lord. Father, we pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done, O oh Lord. In the lives of your children. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. I know your will and your purpose is good. I know you have plans that suit them. Tailor made for them, Father. Lord, 
Jesus, let every power working against their will, your will for their lives, be arrested tonight. The book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 18 says, Whosoever therefore shall violate or rebel against what you have commanded them today, against what we have decreed, what we have commanded today, every power saying no to any of them, Lord, I decree, I stand upon the rock of ages. I stand under the calling of grace and mercy, under the blood of Jesus of Nazareth. I come against you, and I command the fire of God to locate and destroy you, and destroy your camp of habitation, and demolish your camp and uh, your, 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 your place of reinforcement. In the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Father, let your fire go before you tonight and destroy the habitation of the wicked. The Bible says, those who hate you shall be clothed in chain, and their habitation shall be rendered desolate. Every area of your destiny, every pursuer of your life, I command the fire of God to locate and destroy them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Every blood circling spirit and power, stealing away everything blood covenant, the, the covenant of the blood of Jesus in your life and your home and destiny. I command the blood of Jesus to pursue, overtake, and destroy them tonight according to the book of Jeremiah chapter 35 and verses. Let the power of God go against them. Let the power of God arrest them. Let the power of God destroy them. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them be overtaken by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, the book of Psalm chapter 35 says, The angels of the Lord will pursue them. Father, let your angels pursue the wicked. Every power that is risen against our life and destiny. Angels of the living God, pursue, overtake, destroy. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Father, Lord, surround us with your angels, O God. According to your word in the book of Psalm 34 and verse 7. Let your angels surround us, Father. Defend and protect us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O oh Lord. Let every, of our, every enemy of our destiny, every, every enemy of this ministry, every enemy of this gathering, let them be scattered in the heaven, in the heavenlies, on the heart, on the the heart. Scatter them by fire, Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Yes. Every rod of the wicked. Hired against your life and destiny. The rod of the wicked that is hired to trouble your salvation. To trouble your testimony. To trouble your life. To trouble your foundation. To render the power of God not to make to make it look like the power of God is not strong upon your life. I commit, I command them in the name of Jesus Christ to be lifted from your life and destiny Amen. and away from your foundation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Every weapon of the devil hired against your blessing, your breakthrough, your fulfillment, to discourage others from knowing Christ. I command it to be removed. I command it to be destroyed by the power that rose Jesus from the dead. Amen. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Father, I pray, let your hand go into every life today. And let every of their expectation be done to them according to their faith tonight. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Every opposition to your testimony. Every opposition to your miracle. I silence them for life. And I destroy them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus Amen. over all the prayers, over all the requests, over all the heart desires, over what the every individual is thinking right now as I'm praying in their hearts, wishing that you will do for them. I plead the blood of Jesus and I command the blood of Jesus to grant them tonight in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Father, let there be testimony. Father, let there be testimony. Amen. 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 Your word says, without signs and wonders, these people would not believe. That they might believe that you are the one that was and you are and you'll be again forever. That they might believe that you have called and sent me to preach your gospel undiluted. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. Let there be miracles. Let there be fulfillment of your word and testimony Amen. in their life and destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. 
Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, for the woman that has been rubbing hands against the wall and crying at night and waiting. And those that that woman that looked like the, the, the hope is almost gone. Waiting for that miracle. Waiting for that need. Waiting daily, Father Lord. That let the heavens open this minute. Amen. Let the require and the desire of the heart be met, O oh Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Between now, O oh Lord, and the end of the year, let everybody gather to jubilate with this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let everyone gather to celebrate with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everyone that thinks all is hope. Every report that has been written concerning you. Everything that looks negative. I command the heavens to make it positive. And the people will celebrate with you. And you will see the goodness of the Lord. In the land of your living. Amen. By the power that rose Jesus from the dead. Amen. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Father, this man that you are given the second chance, O oh Lord. Open his eyes, O oh Lord. And let him be established. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything stolen by the spiritual robbers. Lord, I pray that you restore to this man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything the enemy has robbed of your destiny. Since you were young up to this stage. I declare for the rest of your life that is remaining. The Lord restore it back to you. In double fold. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. I call against any plan for any young children among our children in this place. Any young child, every satanic plan to steal, to rob away the young star, I command them to be terminated by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every plan of stealing stars and blessing in the life of any young child, I command it to be aborted and exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hiding on the roof to steal the blessing of young children. Yes. I command it to be exposed. Amen. Be exposed. Be exposed. Be exposed. Be disgraced. Be exposed. Be disgraced. Be exposed. Be disgraced. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Thank you because you are Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, Jesus.